So today, we're going to be looking at academic writing and some of the common mistakes that students make. Well, not instant questions, Etnia. You can ask at the end. It's probably better, okay? Right. So today, we're going to look at common mistakes in the following four areas. So we look at articles, plurals, countable and non-countable nouns, and then some linking expressions. We'll have a little look at an introduction to task two. Some of you might be your first class. You're not familiar with writing task two. And then we'll look at some other common mistakes as well. So first of all, let's have a look at some articles and I'll get you to have a look at a couple of sentences and you can tell me which are correct or not correct. So we look at two, you tell me first or second is correct and then I want you to tell me why, okay? So we've got two there. So which one is correct? Okay. Good, very good. Now, why is it incorrect? Why is the first one incorrect? Aha, Tran, very good, very good. Yeah, Trin, yeah, good, 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 good. So yeah, so we used before superlative adjectives. So for example, the highest, the most important, the best. Yeah. Uh, Samesh, Samesh, sorry about that. Maybe you've got a bad connection there. So it seems everyone else can. Maybe you've just got a bad connection. And then the only. Okay, very good. So what about the next one then? Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. This is a common error for a lot of students. Yes, Guy, that's correct. So we must have the... So we use it because the countries are where the names are. They're a group of places. So, for example, the United States, yeah, yeah, so a pima, yeah, that's correct, yeah, so the United Kingdom, near the Middle East, can you think of any other examples? Yeah, the UN, the Philippines, yeah, good, very good. Yeah, the Caribbean. Well, we wouldn't say the Maldives. So not the China, just China. Yeah. Okay. You would use it if you said the Republic of China. No, not with Pakistan. Nigeria, no. So only where they group. So for example, in the UK, we've got England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And in America, they have separate states, yeah, the Netherlands, yeah. So because China is one country, it's not made up of a group of islands or a group of countries, yeah. Australia, no, yeah, just Australia. Not long, yeah, you could use them like that. So yes, Etnia, only a group. Yes, well, we won't talk about the coronavirus. Okay, so the Rocky Mountains, yeah, the Himalayas. So there we've got a group of mountains. So you can use it like that also, all right? So, good. Let's have a look at the next two. So not with Egypt. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, 
Okay, so why do you think number two is correct? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. All right. So it's describing a specific quantity. Yeah. So the number of, many of you said that, so that's good. The amount of, so that's good. The volume of, yeah, good. And yeah, it is specific, yeah. So, good. So we're just giving you, Saif, we're just giving you some examples, that's all. Okay, let's see if you can find the errors. Okay. And also we can use the with all the numbers, the first, the second, the third. Okay. Very good. Have a look at these two. This is often confusing. Okay. We've got a mixture here. Yeah. Okay. So, uncountable, so it's not specific. So, there's an example there. The advice you gave me was helpful, so that is specific. Or, here's a piece of advice, so it's countable in that situation. Okay. So can you think of any other nouns like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Bread, furniture, yeah, good. Yeah, very good. So we Got some students that are very good at grammar. Right, let's have a look at the next two. Just a second until the bar goes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, good. Everyone's on board. So, there we go. So, it's referring to only one in a particular area or the world. So, there's an example, the police, the environment, the internet, the moon. What about any others? Can you think of any others? The earth, yeah, the press, good, the church, the sky, okay, good, the Atlantic, yeah, good, yeah, okay, good, yeah, very good. Now, we wouldn't use it with Mount Everest. We would just say Mount Everest. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. Well, if you're talking about a specific monkey, then it would be right. Yeah. The monkey bit me on the hand. Then it's a specific monkey. Yeah. So let's have a look at singular and plurals. So another difficult or a problem area for students, okay? So let's see if you can correct these ones. So here we've got many plus the number of. So anything wrong in that sentence?
Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good, Lillian. Really good. So, options. Next one. Okay, good. Everyone's got that. It's a simple one. Yeah. So the next one, we look at some different plural forms. So what's wrong with this one? Adult boy, yeah, a good example. Okay. Good. What about the next one? Ren how good. Ethla, good. Alresa, good. Shivan, good. Okay. Next one. So some nouns don't have a plural form. Emily, good. Don't boy. Neil, good. Saikian, yeah. Okay. Now, you missed, some of you missed the second one. Yeah. Good. So now, although these seem like simple errors, it's amazing how many people make errors with them. And if you've got a lot of simple errors in your writing, then obviously it is going to have a negative impact on your score. Right. Next one. Okay, good. This one is, I see it often. Amy, good. Mustafa, good. Saikian, good. Okay. Yeah, some good examples there. So, some look plural, but aren't. So what's wrong with the second one? I mean, this one. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Amount. Yeah. So I think that one confused a few people there. Let's have a look. Next one. This one is a, a confusing one for a lot of people as well. So for example, for some of you asking a question, so there we would say a large amount of gold, the number of people, yeah. Yeah, so economics there, it's singular. Right, let's have a look at subject verb agreement. That's correct, Lynn, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, good sight. Vicky, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, good, Craven. There we are. Last one. Yeah, good, Emily. Lady, good. Nat, good. Kamesh, good. Okay, very good. So, have to. So, more than one. Good. Well done. So, let's have a look at some linking expressions. So, can you match the correct linker into the sentence? So, uh, I'll put the linkers on for you. So, we've got a lot. Okay. So, I'll see if you can answer the first. So what linker is going to go there, the top? Ailsa, good. Yeah. Well, uh, Caroline one was correct there. Emily, good. So, oops, so, although, right, what about the next one? Yeah, oops, my mouse is too sentient. Okay. There we are. The next one. Okay, very good. Vicky, Chloe, good. Yeah, Alice. Not good. Okay. All right, let's have a look at the next ones. So think about how you would begin a paragraph. You'll Yeah, good sky. Nat, good. Ryan, good. Good, Vicky, yeah. Pardon the lawyer, good. Okay. So, first of all, what's going to go next? Alice, yeah, good. Tran, good. And how, good. Yeah, lady, good. Shupan, yeah. Okay. Next one. Nat, good. Saeed, good.
Tony are good. Yep, lady good. Okay. Next one. Okay, Jaita good, Shivan good. Okay, next one. Rio good, Essie good. Jocelyn, good. Good, Vicky. Siobhan, good. Okay. So, what are we going to put here? Lillian, you're already ahead of me. Good. Okay. There's a little bit of a delay on the text box, I think, because everyone's got this correct. Okay. So I'm assuming everyone's got this. So in conclusion. And then obviously you only have one left. Okay. So I'll give you that one, despite the fact. So you want to be using, when you're writing, you want to be using a good range of these linking words and transition signals, okay? So for example, furthermore, moreover, yeah, despite, despite the fact that so we've used first of all, but notice we haven't gone secondly, thirdly, finally. Yeah, use a, a, a good range of these linkers. So it's gonna show the examiner that you've got good control of your English language. So just have a look at that for a second. So it's really important to be familiar with these linking expressions and obviously you want to be using, you know, you will use a mixture of complex and simple sentences, but you want more complex sentences than simple sentences. Okay, well done. Right, let's have a look at the introductions. So often it's, you know, the hardest paragraph for students to write. So often People get confused when they're looking at how people have introduced an argument and an opinion, yeah? So some people say that. So there's six ways to paraphrase this view. So you tell me which are correct. So. So think about some people say that. Now it looks like we're frozen here. I don't know what's happened. But it looks like we've frozen. Okay, that's it. It's come back. There must have been a problem with the text there.
Okay, I'll just give you a few seconds to have a look at that. Now we're back on. Yeah, we're back now. We're unfrozen. We thawed out. Okay, good. Yeah, we've come back now, Alicia, yeah. All right, let's have a look. So, <clears throat> it is often considered that, and it's commonly discussed. So, you're not actually going to be discussing or considering anything. So, they're very clearly said some people say yeah so four and six are incorrect okay so i think we're not frozen anymore now i think everyone's back on board so you have to not get confused when you're looking at <coughs> excuse me verbs to introduce arguments and opinions all right all right so don't worry if you can't see me moving or see me speaking that's okay yeah as long as you can hear me that's the main thing so those are the two that are incorrect yeah so <coughs> now we're going to use the verbs consider and discuss when we're talking about two sides of something yeah so that's why, yeah, that's why, Adathia, yeah, it is, but if you have a look here, so we use the verb argue or agree or disagree to present an opinion. So, so we'll choose a suitable verb to complete these sentences, all right? So think about what I've just said and look at the sentence. Fun, good. Tram, good. Yeah, can't see that clearly. Yeah, Dan. Good, Vicky. Yeah. Consider. Adathia, yeah. Now I would avoid using demonstrate. Demonstrate strictly means uh, you'll show someone how to do something. Yeah, so be careful of using demonstrate in that sense. Okay, what about this one? Good journey. To Palma. Yeah, Elsa. From good, Alice good. Okay, good. So read the sentence first. Sky, yeah. Yeah, ah, uh ah, -uh. no demonstrate. No, think about the words on the left. No, at near, not display. So consider. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the next one. I can't see the sentence completely there because of the chat box. Let's have a look at it now. Mm. 
Let's have a look. I think we may have a frozen chat box again, but let's wait and see. I'll we'll just wait a second for everyone's answers to come through. What happens, I think, if they're coming very, very fast, it tends to freeze the chat box. Okay. So, okay. So there, you can use consider and discuss to talk about two sides. So we've got advantages, disadvantages, causes and solutions, all right? And then argue if you're gonna agree or disagree. Yeah, or agree or disagree. Now, you'll notice here that we've got strongly disagree. So, your three basic opinions are going to be agree, disagree, or you might be partly, so you're in the middle. But you can only you can also strongly agree or strongly disagree. Okay. So right now your texts are coming through. Okay, good. I think we're back. Yeah. Good. Okay. So hopefully you heard what I said there, I'll repeat. So use considering discuss when you're talking about two sides. Yeah. So like their advantage, disadvantages, and argue or agree, disagree to present an opinion. Okay. Right. One more, I'm gonna give you this. So we've got, I've got time to answer some questions. So there's an example there. So this, I will consider both points of view. Okay, so you're gonna give two points of view before arguing that studying the arts is vital to the development of civilized society. So there, you're gonna be giving an opinion, okay? So just take a moment to look through. Just read the explanations on the left and then look at the sentences again. Okay. Ah. Uh, Rajanil, yeah, there's a lot of different types of questions. There's about six or seven different types. So you could get causes, yeah. So problem, causes, solution, agree, disagree, direct question, two part question, advantages, disadvantages, discuss questions without an opinion, discuss questions with an opinion. Yeah, so there's lots of difference. Um, lots of different questions. Okay. Just let me know that you can hear me, guys. It seems some people are having a problem. So I seem to be okay. But some of you are having a problem. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Javier, yeah. Right. So let's have a look at some other mistakes before I come on and answer some questions. So here's a discuss question and with both views and give your opinion. So have a look at that, so read that. So have a read of that. See if anyone can tell me what you think is wrong with it.
Okay, good. So, there's a lot of unnecessary information in this, okay? So, recent controversy arises, da 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 da, da. Now, you've got to be careful because a lot of people use memorized phrases. So, there is a heated debate, it is a hot topic. So, the examiner know this straight away and these are memorized. So, you need to avoid using stuff like that. So the examiners are e can easily spot memorized phrases. All right. So there we go. Get rid of that. So there's some inaccurate word choice here as well. Okay. So. We can change that. So it's widely believed. So we can paraphrase. So let's have a look. So we'll do some paraphrasing. Ooh, we've gone too far. Being successful is a result of, okay. And we'll have a look at some more. Wealth and physical beauty rather than money and appearance. Yeah, good. And then word form. Being a successful person. Hard, okay. So you can see how we've transformed that so yeah, you can use synonyms, change the word order, the word form, change the voice passive instead of active. Yeah, so all of those. Now, it's really important that you don't use memorized phrases though. I can't stress that enough. Um, when I was working in China, I know there's quite a lot of schools in China teach memorized phrases with the development of science and technology there's a heated debate there is it's a hot topic yeah so if something's not in the news it's not a hot topic yeah so if you are talking about capital punishment or the death penalty well the development of science and technology has got nothing to do with that so you know just use your own vocabulary and then rephrase so it's unnecessary information, really. Yeah, silentans or clanatans, I can't see that clearly. Yeah, so we don't need it. So, okay. Um, idiomatic usage, I would be careful of because a lot of students use the same ones over and over again. Every coin has two sides. And it's like a sword with two blades. Yeah, well, it's not. It's like a double-edged sword. I would stick with collocations, good use of collocations. Yeah, words that are used frequently together. That shows a good command of your English. For example, it's freezing cold outside. Okay. So environmental pollution. Yeah, as another example of collocation. Environmental damage. Yeah. I would avoid using idioms in an academ academic essay because most often students make, you know, mistakes and they're not really appropriate. It's more for speaking. Yeah. So with your essays, stick with collocations. Yeah. So now you notice sometimes students will say, uh, a study has shown. Well, it's no good just saying a study has shown. You have to have a reference to where the information came from. A recent study by Cambridge University, okay. Or you could use something like a growing body of evidence suggests that, yeah. So Caroline, you, you can use some idiomatic language, but collocations I think are gonna improve your score more. So. But if they asked you about the weather and you said, well, my hometown's freezing cold in the winter, then, you know, that's perfectly okay. 
collocation. Yeah. So some common mistakes. So here's some strategies on what you need to do. So when you're thinking about grammar, the most common errors are articles, singular and plural, like we've discussed. All right, countable, uncountable nouns. So you want to review those. So you need to make sure when you finished your essay, you give yourself time to proofread or edit. So be familiar with linking expressions, so different types. So moreover, furthermore, in addition, additionally. And then you all would check your punctuation. So, you know, you're using complex sentences. And also, um, I forgot what I was going to say there. Yeah, complex sentences, check your punctuation. And then your introduction, make sure you, you've got argue, agree, consider, discuss, avoid other common errors, so unnecessary information. Yeah, so like we just said, you can change word order, paraphrase, and then at the end, check your writing. So be aware of the specific mistakes you make. Now, for example, if you've got an essay and it's calling for a lot of plurals and you miss an S, let's say you miss 10 s's or 12 s's that's going to affect your score negatively so if you're looking for 6.57 you want to be up there where you know uh frequent error-free sentences for both grammar and lexus that would put you in this band seven okay so you can go on the internet if you want to have a look at academic collocations and if you google academic collocation list if you want, you can have a look at some of the example essays we've got up on IELTS, online IELTS test.com, just to get a feel for it. Okay. So, and then I can't quite see that last one there. Okay. So, I'll come and answer your questions in a minute, but there's some links. Now, I have put these links right at the beginning of the chat. So you can actually go and copy them and paste them. Um, I can't seem to move my chat box at the moment, but so anyone who's interested in finding out what their uh, approximate band score will be for speaking or writing, then one of our experienced teachers or former examiners can do a mock speaking test and or a writing evaluation for you. So task one and two. So you can get an idea of where you are and what you need to improve on. Um, obviously, you can look at our website, IELTS Online Tests, for more webinars. And then we've got reading and listening videos on there as well to help you prepare. And then we've got our YouTube channel where you can look at previous webinars and go over them. And then we've got our Facebook group. Okay. So I'll just leave those on there so you can either copy them i have copied and pasted them at the beginning of the chat box but now i can't get them because my chat box is kind of frozen so if i can get those links again aha there we go i'll put them on for you now it's much better to put your questions in the q a box because Obviously, this is frozen a few times today. So if it goes in the Q&A box, I'm going to be likely to see it. So just give me a sec. You see, we're frozen. Hopefully not. Okay, we're back, we're back. Okay, let me have a look in the Q&A because my chat box is not working. Let me see if I can have a look in the Q&A. Hopefully it'll come back in a second. All right, Q&A.
Uh, all right. Yeah, Huang Lin, if you use the People's Republic of China, then that's fine. Mohammed, no, not with India. Yeah. So one is plural, one is singular there, anonymous. So for example, a large amount of gold, singular. Yeah. A number of people. So anonymous. I want to ask when do we use there is a lot of pizzas or there are a lot of pizzas. So there are a lot of pizzas. Yeah. Uh, Sonia, it's not compulsory to use these kind of phrases, but obviously they are going to help with your writing. Okay. So they will help with your writing. So it shows a good range. So you have to remember, you have to show good range and you have to use vocabulary accurately and grammar, yeah? So give me a second. So I'll try and get through the questions. It looks like the Q and A is frozen again, as well as the chat box, but I'll try my best. Hopefully we'll come online again in a second. Yeah. So let's have a look. Uh, well, you can interchange as you discuss and consider. Yeah. Because you're thinking about both sides, but you're in the essay, you're going to discuss. Yeah. So. Adobe, I've answered that question, and Ackley, I've answered that. Grammar fast. I think the thing is, with grammar, um, Meta, what I usually do is, if a student's got a good foundation, all right, then they're just going to be making errors in vocabulary and grammar. So then what I tend to do with students is I'll get them to write sentences using collocations, yeah? So for example, um, uh, the world is facing environmental disaster, yeah? Something like that, so environmental disaster. Or there are many forms of environmental pollution, so environmental pollution, just some examples. Yeah, so, um, you know, really the thing is if you're self-studying, it's very difficult, yeah? So you need a teacher to help correct you. It's not just the grammar, yeah? So you might actually be off topic in your body paragraph. So that's something else because you need a clear progression. You need to make sure all your ideas are going back to your topic sentence at the beginning. Yeah, so, but that's what I usually do. So it's a matter of going through, look at what we've done today. So just do that with your essay, go through, uh, have I missed a, a, an S here? Or should that have an S? Yeah. So Henny, then we have to explain the reason why we agree or disagree. Yeah, well, you're going to show your opinion and give some ideas and examples. Yeah. Um, there's no dodgy, no kind of how long it should be. But remember, you're going to be writing, let's say, 280 words. Let's say you use two or three sentences. That should be enough. You don't want anything longer than that. Yeah. OK. My friends and I, Alwyn. Uh, Ranjanil, can we prepare for IELTS in one week? No, I mean, common sense will tell you probably not, not unless you're already a very good, you've got a very good command of the language. Yeah, so if you've got a good command of the language, then great. 
So you may you may only need to be familiar with the test format, but I would say in most, well, in 99.9% .9 of the cases, no, you couldn't do that. Uh, again, good and common vocabulary in writing task two. So I would have a look at the academic word list. So what I would do, guys, is Google academic word list and academic collocation list, and that'll show you a good range of vocabulary you can use in your essays. I mean, you don't have to be using rocket science vocabulary. The most important thing is the vocabulary you use. There's a good range, good linking words, and it's used accurately. Yeah. So, Olaka, Olakan, for agree, disagree, should I write about the two opposing points in different paragraphs? Well, it depends on what your opinion is. You might just agree. So, if you agree and disagree, then you're going to be in the middle. But you need to be careful because a lot of people just write about one side. So it's, I think it's much better to have a clear opinion, either agree or disagree. Um, and Rita, there's no number of collocations required, really, as long as um, you've got control, good control and accuracy. That's the most important. So, you know, you don't want to try and overuse them in an essay. It would be difficult to write like that anyhow. So the more you're familiar with them, the easier it gets. Yeah. Uh, well, advice, you're giving someone advice. Yeah. Opinion, you have an opinion on something. Yeah. So, for example, I noticed some of you have said, uh, mentioned Brexit, so you might say, my opinion on Brexit, yeah? So, or let me give you some advice, or my teacher gave me some valuable advice, okay? Grammar, 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 guys, I think I've answered that. Uh, Nat Long, what's the most important to see? Well, I think, <laughs> Men, all, all four criteria are important. Yeah, task achievement, have you answered the question? Have you expanded? Um, have you given sufficient examples? So, and then good use of grammar, Lexis, and also cohesion. So you've got clear paragraphing and used, you know, transition signals. Okay. Uh, diagrams, well, it depends what it is, Vishnu, because you've got describing a machine or object, or you might have a process, you could have a flow chart. So, for example, I won't go into too much detail, but, you know, if you're doing a process, then you want to be using the passive voice, present, simple, and passive. Yeah. Uh, T-Bar, yeah, I'll try and get that. Let me see if I can go back. I'll try. There we are. Okay, let me see. To what extent the creative you know, attempt answer the essay managed to get a high mark than absolutely correct grammar and writing? Well, even eight or nine minor slips are allowed, yeah, but minor, yeah, very minor slips, as in minor slips that a native speaker would make. Um, obviously, you want to expand your answer, Shazad, so you want so it's suitably extended. You've given good examples, all right? And then obviously cohesion, clear paragraphing, transition signals. Vishnu, how to avoid grammatical errors during speaking. Again, it comes with practice. Practice speaking as much as you can. Remember, you're going to be making the same mistakes in writing as you are in speaking. 
So if you can correct them in your writing or correct them in your speaking, you should be able to do it in the other. Yeah, but it's just about being aware of the errors you're making. That's where teachers can be able to help. Yeah. You're in grade five, what time should I take the IELTS test? Well, if you're in grade five, you've got lots of time yet. So you're obviously gonna have to do that before you, if you wanna study abroad or go and live in another country. So, you know, take it, see when the, the if you're gonna go to university, you'll have a submission date for it, all right? Uh, no, you don't have to. You, sometimes prudence, you can do what we call concede. Yeah, so you could say I concede that da, 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 there are some advantages, but overall, I think the disadvantages far away any benefits. All right. How many sentences per essay? I uh, wouldn't worry too much about that. Just think about, you know, writing a a good, you know, a good essay. Try not to think about how many sentences you write. Yeah. So you should be writing around 280 words, I guess. Yeah. So, okay, guys. Right. I hope you found this webinar useful, guys. Um, stay tuned for more webinars. So check out our website have a look at the webinars coming up i'll see you again this month okay and i wish you a good night and good luck if you're taking the ielts test okay guys bye for now